Hello, hello. We're back. We're playing Triangle Strategy again. So, <clears throat> I think I played a bit of uh, grinding, and I made them all level twelve right now. So we have Izana. We okay. Last time Izana joined us, Lionel. I still don't know. He's useful. Uh, Archibald joined us as well. Jens as well. You know, Jens is is very. I'm not sure. He's not useful as well. <laughs> Medina's very. You need a lot of items for him for her to work. And yeah, I think as Hosabara joined us as well. But for now, let's continue. We have three character stories. Oh, it's just them. So we have Hugh Head, Herador embark on a hunt, and the former re reflects on how she came into her position at the prince's side. A whole day of hunting, and this is all I have to show for it. Wanted to give Lord Sarah Noah something meaty for once. Meaty. A deer is no easy prey. You are a skilled meaty. hunter. One deer to your three boar? <laughs> it's plain who the better of us is. I don't reckon you let a single one escape. Could be hunting is your true calling. Perhaps. Before I was knighted, I was keeper of the hawk's roost. And besides, I come from a long line of hunters. That's so. And what drove you to fight men for a living? Lenbrook put out a call for hawk riders. That they might challenge S. Frost's aerial superiority. I answered that call. Mm. My training was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I won a position in the Kingsguard, where I petitioned to serve <coughs> Prince Roland personally. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you could have made a fine commander. Yet you stuck by the prince's side. Yes, I did. It's a flashback. Three years ago. Flugi has yet to return. I hope he isn't in danger. What's this then? A traveler out here all alone, huh? And in sore need of protection by my reckoning. Hand over your coin purse and maybe we can reach an arrangement. Bandits? Here? How could I be so careless? Cool. I'd advise against running. Ain't nowhere for you to go. <sighs> Enough! Ugh. Doesn't have his horse now. But three years ago, I mean. Are you hurt? I'm fine, thanks to you. Had you not showed up when you did, I could have ended up dead. You have my gratitude. Is that your hawk? He guided me here. I was in the middle of a hunt. But your bird cried out as if calling to me. Thank heavens I did not lose that arrow. I've never known hawks could be so wise. <laughs> His something, name is Flugi. He's and he's Flugi. more than my hawk. He's my closest companion. The bandits are growing more bold by the day. It is best you returned home. Wait! I have scarce little to give in the way of coin. But still, there must be something I can do to repay you. Think nothing of it. It is the royal family's duty to protect our subjects. The royal... Good heavens! You're Prince Roland! Forgive me, your highness. There's no need for all that stuffy formality. May we meet again soon? Yes, your highness. That was my first meeting with the Prince. He saved my life, and for that, I shall be forever in his debt. I could settle for no less than the King's Guard.
Yeah, she sa he saved her. That's why she's in the King's Guard. Julio and Erador are out on patrol when they came across a deplorable act in progress. Deplorable. Please, you can't take our wheat. We just sent food the other day. Silence. Lord Walford has ordered the requisition of all provisions. You wouldn't dare disobey your lord, would you? What did I know? Of course not. I... I just can't believe Lord Walford would command such a thing. Are you accusing me, a noble woman of Glenbrook, <laughs> of lying? Maybe. <laughs> How dare you, <laughs> Like that laugh. <laughs> Mayhap we should see what the commotion is about. It is fake news. I Mind did not order such thing. <gasps> well, if it isn't Captain Eridor, thank you for all that you do to keep these lands safe. You're one of the lot what recently fled from the Crown City, ain't you? Just so, yes. I came to humbly lend what aid I could to Lord Wolford and deliver on the provisions I promised. What is your quarrel with these people? If you could explain the situation, we'd be more than happy to lend what aid we can. Please, I beg of you, don't take our food. It's all we have. I've always known Lord Wolford to care for his people above all. Why would he do this to us? What madness is this? Lord Serenoa has strictly forbidden commandeering food from the common folk. Surely you aren't asking these good people to relinquish their stores to you in his name. <laughs> I'm simply gathering provisions on Lord Walfort's behalf as I promised. Honestly, he should be grateful. Grateful? <laughs> He'd be red in the face if he saw what you were doing. Ain't no way he ordered it. On the contrary, you are acting in violation of your lord's decree. We cannot overlook your actions. You will come with us and be jailed. There, you will await judgment for your crimes. Why is jailed jailed? What nonsense <laughs> is this? I am a noblewoman of Glenbrook. How dare you try to order me about, you self-important little man? You've no authority over me! And she's Look, hungry. disagreeing. But are you sure we should accost her without seeking Lord Serenoa's counsel first? We haven't that luxury. The longer she is allowed to roam free, the more the people will suffer, and our Lord's good name be sullied. We must show the people that unethical acts will not go unpunished. Take her away. You will pay for your impudence! <laughs> Damn, she's angry. Can't believe there are scoundrels out here using House Wolfort's name for ill gain. You've done us all proud today, Yulio. Thank you ever so much, my lord. We'd be facing starvation if you hadn't stepped in. She really had us fooled. We should have known Lord Wolfort is too kind a man to order anything like that. If you are ever troubled again, please seek me out. I shall ensure that any wrongs committed against you are set right. Pa -pa -pam -pam. Next, Narv speaks with Jilla about her home of Hyzant and his grandfather's place in their history. Oh yeah. That should do it. You should be able to use that arm just fine in no time. Many thanks, lad. You truly are a talented one. My apologies for treating you like an intruder the other day. Think nothing of it, my good man. If you need anything else, I'm more than happy to help. Your magic never ceases to amaze. Did you learn everything from your grandfather? You bet I did. The Archmage Grandante taught me everything I know. Grandante? 
There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Narv. Ask away. I was in Hyzand for a short time, studying at the Ministry. No doubt you know it's considered the greatest authority in this world when it comes to matters arcane. Their library contains everything from records of magically enhanced soldiers to technical tomes and much, much more. Their chronicles on the history of magic, too, were the most comprehensive in our realm. And yet, I do not recall seeing even a single mention of a mage named Grandante. One would think the achievements of such a powerful sorcerer would be recorded somewhere. Why are they not? Maybe he's a heretic. They destroyed everything about him. Those awful Hyzantians. Truly, they have no shame. Narv? The chronicles you speak of? In truth, they were written by my grandfather's own hand. What? what But then why is he not credited by name? He refused to do the research the former Hierophant ordered of him. And was branded a uh, heretic and unbeliever. <laughs> They erased his name and achievements from the records and made it like he never existed at all. He was then banished from the city and died in exile. His name all but forgotten. It's all their fault. No one knows of the Archmage Grandante. I... I had no idea. These robes I wear were once his. They're the only remaining proof that he once walked this realm. So you carry his memory with you everywhere you go. I promised myself I would make the Archmage Grandante's name known around the world. So I'm going to work harder than I've ever worked before, until all in the realm know his story. And in the process, I'll become the greatest mage this world has ever seen. That's the spirit. Thanks, Gila. Just you watch, Grandfather. I'm going to make you proud. Okay. Okay, I think we have one here. Citadel of Sands. Exarm's intervention ends the battle at the harbor. Sorcery seats in anger. Oh no. Parsley and they is angry. Oh, Booker is still alive. Do you require assistance, Your Excellency? I require silence. Can't you see I'm thinking here? Exham's meddling is unfortunate. He hid his investigations well. He may have already poisoned the Holy One against us. We must take action, and soon, if our dealings were to come to light, it would have grave implications. Do you understand the meaning of silence? If you insist on pestering me so, then tell me what you would do. I... I would do whatever your excellency <laughs> commands. He is commanding you to find him a way out of this mess. Have you no ideas for me? I... Fear not, Your Excellency. Useless! Would you see me dead then? <sighs> we can't let the Wolforts fall into Exham's clutches. They are too valuable. I must find a way to make them see the upside of being in my good graces. Give us salt. <laughs> Give us this salt. Okay, from within the castle jail, the captive Roland hears something stirring. This, this their jail is goal, goal, goal. I don't know how to read it. I'm not sure if I'm reading it right. Roland's still alive. Someone's is this Cordelia? Brother, there you are. Cordelia, you're gonna escape. You have to run now.
Come out, come out, your highness. Not so loud. Anyone finds out about this, it'll be our heads on pikes. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Nonsense. You're more courageous than you know. It's time for us to go. Uh, is she gonna stay? Cordelia? I'm... I'm staying here. What? Why? After all this? That is all the more reason for me to stay. I will avenge our family. I will find out what Esfra's schemes are. And when the time is right, I shall bring them down. You intend to wed the Archduke then? Yes. I will come for you, sister. This I swear. Until I do. Take care of yourself, will you? Oh, Cordelia did that. Roland's escaping now. Wonder where he'll go. It seems Hyzant has withdrawn from the Wolford domain. And left the Wolfords with their independence? How very uncharacteristic of them. Doubtless they mean to use the Wolfords against us. The illusion of freedom will make them more pliable to an entreaty from their saviors. So not only has House Wolford defied us, but the Holy State stands with them. I suppose even zealots can be coaxed from their pulpits. General Avlora reported the use of a weapon which caused an explosion of purple smoke throughout the battlefield. Yes, not but bluster and fury for now. But who knows what may become of it in time. The situation has become... vexing. Is it like toxin gas, the weapon? The failure was mine, Your Grace. Failure does not become you, Avlora. You know what I expect. May you never utter those words in my presence again. Yes, Your Grace. Have you news of the Prince's whereabouts, Thalus? I'm afraid not. Information seems to have slowed down to a trickle. But worry not, brother. The sizable bounty I put on his head should motivate the more industrious of our subjects to action. We cannot let him live. Find him at all costs. Well, surely he'll go on to Wolfer's domain. Right? My lord, the prince has returned. <laughs> okay, he <What>? did. <laughs> Is he hurt? Slightly the worse for wear, but he appears hale, my lord. I feared we wouldn't see the day. Sarah Noah, will you welcome an old friend back into your home? With pleasure. Anna, does anyone else know of Prince Roland's whereabouts? None. Of that I made sure. Only those present here know where he is. Very good. Let no one else approach these chambers. Gustadolf plans to wed my sister. He will proclaim his intent soon. Cordelia? But why would he do that? To secure his stranglehold on Glenbrook. So the throne was his goal all along. In that oh, case. Oh, come on. Uh, my controller. It's doing this whenever I stop why clicking anything because it's on auto. That bastard. Schemes upon schemes. Cordelia seems to have accepted her fate, but I refuse to. I mean to stop this wedding. And I need your help. We must put an end to Esfroth's machinations once and for all. Together.
Can I count on you? My prince, as your friend, I must be frank. We find ourselves in a delicate situation. A single rash move could mean the loss of our home. For now, we must let Hyzant and Esfrost think our loyalty can be won by force or intimidation. And to that end, we have a bargain with Hyzant to fulfill. That must come first before all. I see. Of course, I cannot blame you. You have subjects to keep safe, after all. I apologize for imposing. I shall leave this place. Only tragedy will come if I stay. My prince, if I may. Considering recent events, there may be no safe haven for you in all of Norzelia. However, I have a proposition. Speak plainly, Benedict. What is it? Give me your royal signet. Apologies, but I will not be able to return it. My signet! The last proof of my lineage. But why? So you may die, my prince. What? Oh. They're gonna fake his death? I think so. Yeah, they're faking his death. Roland escapes Whiteholm, but Cordelia remains her fate in the hands of Gustav. Don't you have anything to say? I freed my brother. <laughs> I actually we are said to be it. wed. I must learn to forgive such rash impulses as you are prone to have. I spit on your forgiveness. I'll never return your hollow gestures. As you wish. Your brother has nowhere to run in any case. However, House Wolfort is a nuisance. A nuisance I cannot expunge without earning Hyzant's ire. Hmm. But it would seem that no longer matters. They killed him. My hour has arrived. Mine. The time has come to carve my oh, never mind into Nozelia. I think they're faking his death. I think so. Travis and Trish. Oh, this is the... Aren't these the bandits? Happened upon a startling discovery on the riverbank. I think these are the bandits. Hey boss, come take a look at this. Fuck is that? Oh, is that the poor soul? Wait, is or that maybe not so poor, judging by these clothes? Dawn Spear. Hey, Pa, remember what I said about that reward money? Of course I do. This might just be him. Oh, never mind. Pa, take a look at this. A shiny ring, huh? Is that uh, the royal emblem? This has got to be Prince Roland. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a dawn spear. But I, they actually killed, uh, kind, kind of killed him. The corpse is regrettably too damaged to identify, but the royal signet is unmistakable. Aside from Cordelia, there is only one who would wear the royal family's ring. There can be no doubt. 
This is Prince Roland. Ah, uh, that's not. Excuse me, Your Grace. Uh, but about that reward, Phallus, give them their coin. Yes, brother. Thank you kindly for your generosity, Your Grace. What a waste. Is this truly how the kingdom of Glenbrook meets its end? House Wolfort are no fools. Their friend was only a liability. They have spared themselves by forsaking the prince. They may have escaped, but there are none who would help them. There is no reason for us to concern ourselves with House Wolfort any longer. Okay, they're, they're gonna leave us alone. A shame. Your poor brother, betrayed by his most trusted friend. Oh, Roland. <laughs> and so, matters with the Wolforts were settled as peaceably as could be expected. I trust they shall flourish with your support, Minister Sorsley. Your story leaves me with one question, Exam. Was it not your forces who took Castle Wolford, yet you leave them with their freedom? One so accustomed to the intrigues of politics surely sees the reason why. Their true enemies are the Frosty. And the Hierophant would know the true reasons behind Esfrost's recent machinations. In this endeavor, a free ally would suit us better than a beaten subject. I see. While kept on a short leash, they can be useful guard dogs. But that leash can always be cut if they prove feral. Just so. An open hand in the right situation can win so much more than a closed fist. You may be right. Ah, but before I leave, the Holy One expressed some concern for you. Have you had any troubles managing this salt as of late? None at all, naturally. Splendid. Sorcely be thinking now. My lord, a bird from Sorsley End of Hyzant has arrived. He has offered to send us provisions and funds in light of our situation. A most welcome offer, to be sure, but... Why would he extend a helping hand to us now? Could he be after something? Undoubtedly, there <laughs> are regrettably none so altruistic amongst the saintly seven. Seeing as Minister Sorsley has never shown much interest in other nations. Oh, come on. Too, too, too much. I can only surmise this is a ploy to put House Wolfort in his debt. Isn't it always like as that? I suspected. But our people and soldiers need all the help they can get. This is also a good opportunity to fulfill our promise to Minister Exham. I assure you, Minister Sorsley won't be the only one with ulterior motives in this exchange. Let us accept his proposal. Understood. We shall discuss our countermeasures at another time. Yes, need to save the game. It's like almost 30 minutes of talking.
The news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, a proclamation is made that would bind S. Frost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the royal signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as queen. And wed Archduke Gustadolf. The dwindling light. Wonder how many chapters this is. Princess Cordelia is to wed the Archduke? What is the meaning of this? Gustadolf is the very one who invaded Glenbrook. But King Regna is to blame for trying to monopolize the mines. What does it matter who the princess weds as long as Glenbrook lives on? <laughs> it damn well matters to me. My people, our days of late have been dark and filled with strife. Both Glenbrook and Esfros have suffered countless losses. And we have lost both of our beloved princes. For that, I offer you my deepest condolences. May they all rest in peace. As you all know, my father was sentenced to death for his role in this tragic event. But how do we come to grips with our sorrow and anger? How do we atone for our mistakes? As Frost does not deserve your forgiveness! Do not submit to Gustadolf's will! <laughs> Let us recognize our sins as such and move forward. Archduke Gustadolf has magnanimously given us another chance. A chance to see Glenbrook to a fair and free future. As the queen of this kingdom, I, Cordelia of House Glenbrook, do hereby accept the warmth and governance of Esfrost, and swear to do everything in my power to usher in an age of peace with the Archduke. With all due respect, sir, I do not believe Queen Cordelia to be fit for ruling Glenbrook. She does not need to be. She is to be our figurehead, a place for the people to focus both their hope and discontent. And while the poor people of Glenbrook stumble in the dark, we shall establish a new government, one based in freedom. Once the people have had a taste of true freedom Esfrost would offer them, there will be no turning back. By the time Cordelia births an heir, both this kingdom and its people will belong solely to Esfrost. I would be loath to stand upon a political battlefield. It is far more heartless than those of war. I am simply breathing new life into a kingdom of tired traditions. The people will thank me for it in time. Father, my brothers, I swear to avenge you. The new? No? More story? More story. Serrano and the others speak of Cordelia's ascension as Queen of Glenbrook. Prince Roland, have you heard about the address <coughs> at the capital? I have. I won't forgive them for making Her Highness say such horrible things. Enough, Hewitt. They lied about the king's death. They made it seem like Gustadolf was justified. 
I said enough! Griping about it here won't change a thing. Cordelia is fighting her hardest all on her own. My heart breaks more every day I cannot save her. Forgive me, your highness. We all understand how you feel, Prince Roland. No, I apologize. I lost control. Thinking about it will do us no good. We must rise to action. Indeed we must. Everyone knows of your death now. That means we are free to make our next move. Listen, my friends. Prince Roland of Glenbrook is dead. I am now merely Roland, a warrior who fled a fallen kingdom. I humbly ask for your support until the sun shines upon our royal line once again. Oh, he's actually joining us back. Oh. He's the Dawn Spear now. Is that Sir Maxwell's. That mask. You look just like Sir Maxwell. This is a secret that shall stay within House Wolford. Master, grant me the strength to free our home from Esfrost's clutches. Oh, rejoined. He rejoined. Ooh. There are so many of us now on the team. It's like full. We're full. Oh, my father is still dead. Give him How the... How is he doing? Has he taken the medicine we Give received him the from medicine, Isaac? yeah. Aye. He hasn't woken. But I reckon he's breathing easier now. Thank you. I'm glad he has some relief from the pain at last. I wish I could tell father about our situation now, but... Lord Serenoa, if your father were awake, I am certain he would praise you for safeguarding Wolfort. <sighs> Sad to say, the real trouble is only just beginning. I'll be damned if House End's protection comes for free. No doubt the longer we stay, the steeper the price. Precisely. Minister Sorsley is not an altruistic soul. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? I would squeeze us dry, then look for an opportunity to. But we won't let that happen. Of course not. Anna is already on the move. It is our duty to protect and guide this house. This heart ain't changed since the day Lord Simone took me in, lad. I'm ready to put my life on the line for this house. We'll get past this, one way or another. You'll see. Thank you so much, both of you. Oh, so many. So many happening around the world. Around Norzelia. At Twins Gate, the death of an ardent youth changed the fate of one man. Huh. Just the uh, father of Dragan. Yeah, it is. Zvarog. Zvarog. The body of Lord Dragan is. So my son has finally returned home. I will be there soon. Is something the matter? I think it better not to look, my lord. And... And why is that? His face. There is no vestige of the handsome lad he once was. Oh. oh, my son. I understand. You are dismissed. I am so sorry, my boy. Please forgive your pitiful excuse for a father. I will find the one who did this to you. 
I swear it. Hmm. Zvarok? Maybe Zvarok will be our ally in Esfros. Maybe he'll be the king or the Archduke. Uh, Anna gathers information at Wolford Harbor and hears rumors about illicit dealings. Illicit dealings! I see. So there is an illicit salt trade held outside the auspices of the Norzelia Consortium. In this business, you cannot avoid rumors even if you try. They say sneaking under the Consortium's nose is well worth the risk, but I am not so bold. And who is behind all this? I wish I could say. I am not asking you to tell me for free. More money! How generous of you. It's but a rumor, of course, but... They say none other than Minister End in Hyzant is pulling the strings. And some free advice for you, my friend? You'd do well not to get involved. Why? I'm afraid that will cost a separate... <laughs> 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 Why, thank you. It's free money. The sweltering heat at the source parches the very hearts of men. Oh, it's the Rosellans. They're looking for salt. <sighs> Water. On your feet. Water, please. Get back to work! You aren't the only one who's thirsty! No setbacks, I presume? None, sir. We are already well ahead of schedule. Splendid! The ledger, if you would. Yes, sir. I would hate for there to be a problem with our numbers. I will hold on to this for now. Of course, sir. Water! Put the poor thing out of its misery, Booker. Is he gonna kill her? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Must be firm with the Roselle. Show them the slightest mercy, and they'll think they deserve more. Yes, sir. And Sorceress an ass. Okay. Frederica voices her doubts to Serenoa. Doubts about what? About hiding. Or about the plan. Saranoa, do you have a moment? I was hoping to talk to you about What's our marriage? marriage. Now that Glenbrook has been brought to ruin by Esfrost. Is there any meaning to our union? <sighs> My brother may have been planning this from the start. And yet I came to Wolfort with the intent of marrying you completely unaware of it. It's always like this. Nothing ever goes as I would wish it. The 
course of my life has always been at the mercy of others. As has mine. Almost nothing happens the way I thought it would. But you have a home. Somewhere you can return to someday. You are surrounded by people who care about you. As do you, as a member of House Woolfort. Your place is with us now. Sarah Noah. And though this may sound pretentious, this is a time for you to think about your future and what you must do, Frederica. Just as I am. I suppose you are right. What must I do? Here you are. Master Benedict has been searching for you both. Understood. Let him know we will return at once. You said we received a delivery from Minister Sorsley. Yes, mostly food and materials, plus a considerable amount of coin. That is... quite kind of him. House End is a wealthy one, even by Hyzant's standards. This would barely put a dent in their coffers. We have distributed the resources as needed. We've even managed to restock our reserves. Wish I could be happy for the help, but I can't say I am. Agreed. Relying on them comes at a price. They will be looking for recompense. I believe that to be their true aim. But this is the path we chose to walk, together. Indeed. And as long as we stay the course, the winds of favor will someday be at our backs. We're always waiting, huh? <laughs> A missive from Minister Sorsley has arrived. I see he wastes no time. What absurd request, request could he possibly have in store for us? Nothing good, that's for sure. Oh, it's a choice. Serrano and the others gather to discuss their response to a certain minister's request. Yet another problem has arisen, as we anticipated. I would like to ask everyone what they think. It's a problem, Benedict, even. If you would. Yes, my lord. We have just received a request from Minister Sorsley. We are to deliver his cargo to Asfrost. Cargo? A load of salt that bypasses the consortium. He is asking us to be an accomplice to his illegal dealings. It is as Minister Exham suspected. Minister Sorsley truly is abusing his station. The nerve of him! Asking the Honorable House Wolfort to do such a filthy job. No way we'd agree to that. But consider this. Agreeing would secure us proof of his unlawful business. Oh, that's true. Are you suggesting we report him to Hyzant? I am saying it is an option. You got a point. We have a duty to speak up when something's not right. That's the honorable thing to do. We might even earn the Holy One's trust. If we rely on Minister Exham, would he speak to the Holy One for us? He tried to expose Sorsley's wrongdoings. Have you all forgotten? Minister Sorsley is one of Hyzan's saintly seven. His connections run far deeper than ours. We must tread carefully. Then we need solid evidence to convict him. I should think the salt he wishes us to transport would suffice. But we are the only ones that know it. And it is indistinguishable from the salt that is legally distributed. Far from the solid evidence we need. Regrettably so. One false move and we lose both Minister Sorsley's support and Hyzant's trust. Without proof, we have no choice but to go to Esfrost. 
If only we had evidence of his misdeeds. It comes as no surprise to see our opinions differ. But a decision must be made. To report Minister Sorsley's illegal dealings to Hyzant, or become a silent accomplice. Hmm. Bring the scales. It is time to make our choice. Let's do the illegal one. Let's be silent. Let's be like an accomplice to Sorsley. Okay. Okay. Anna's always undecided. Yeah, let's go out. Oh, let's talk to everyone. Shinies? No? No shinies in here? No? Okay, ha 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 ha. That's true, that's true. Let's, let's let's do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, trader. What do you sell? I need these. Give me these. I have no money. Wait, there's a range firestone? Ah, it's like, it's not one. It's like a lot of uh, spaces. Oh, there's one here. There's a cat again. Quality stone. Ah, uh, they they think he's Sir Maxwell. This one. I don't wanna lie to my soldiers. Thank you. 
red anklet with that. Oh. Hey, that's useful. Maybe we need to give that to you. Magic and attack. I'm done here. Let's put let's go back. Let's persuade them. We need to follow Sorsley. So Benedict uh Frederica and Erador again. Hi lad. You're onto something. Consider this. Oh crap, one is locked. Benedict, I mean. Perhaps something's locked as well. Perhaps, but if... Certainly not. Anna again. Anna's like always the swing yes, swing vote. Well then. And Frederica. Saranoa. Surely. In that case. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, I think this is done. So let's see if we can travel. We can we can follow sourcely. <laughs> it is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Yeah. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Let's be illegal traders. Forgive me, my lord. Oh, okay. Okay, he didn't vote. Even still. Ah. Okay, Anna, Anna, come on. I cannot agree to this. Oh fuck. My persuasion skills are not right. Just can't see it your way. Oh fucking hell. The scales of conviction <gasps> no. will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided god damn it we march to high Zant and expose the minister's illicit dealings boo i wanted to join end day oh, this fine we have chosen our path we shall head to high Zant and alert them of minister sourcelay's wrongdoings now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we must not falter. Anna, begin the preparations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And one hour story. Jeez. This is pretty long. In exchange for his aid, Sorcelay orders House Wolfort to transport his illicit salt. Saranoa, however, intends to bring word of the minister's crimes to the holy state of Hyzant. Oh, you actually went to Heizan? Or not? In order to succeed, he must delve deep into the nation's internal affairs while avoiding Sorcelay's notice. The desert's end. So you've decided to accept my proposal. A wise decision, Lord Saranoa. As you have requested, none shall know of the salt's dis- But you are still too young for true wisdom, it seems. Huh? He means, let us not speak of the obvious, my lord. <laughs> it's prudent to speak as little as possible to prevent any unnecessary complications. One never knows who might be listening. <laughs> Fortune favored you with a capable retainer. I beg your pardon, Minister, but I must entreat you to recall the aid you offered in exchange for ours. I give you my word it shall be done. Booker, I'll leave the rest of the arrangements to you. Yes, Minister. If you all will follow me into the antechamber, we may discuss the details further. The antechamber. Okay. Oh, this one here. Okay, well, for now, I'm gonna save for now. 
Okay. Uh, so I will stop for now, but I'll be playing again later. But maybe another game. Maybe I'll play Pokemon Arceus. So I I've been playing Triathlon Strategy for like 15 hours. Maybe I'll play this next week. And maybe tomorrow I'll play uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses again. So let's continue that game. So, but at night, maybe uh, around 9 o'clock p.m., maybe around that time. So I'll be playing Pokemon Arceus later and then Fire Emblem Three Houses, three houses tomorrow. So I think that's enough for now. So I'll see you next. I'll see you later. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.